Hi, my name is PJ, I'm not waste your time. I'll be showing you how to create this rough and edges effect in DaVinci Resolve. Let's get started. Here, I'm inside a fusion of my clip. I'm just gonna make the border first, and then we're gonna roughen the edges, and then we're gonna make the background. So first, we need to make the border. So I wanna grab a polygon node from our toolbar over here. Right, grab that, put this on our media in, connect that there. And then we're gonna go over to the inspector and hit invert so we can see our footage. And I'm just gonna do a rough mask around Gojo over here. So something like this will work. All right, once we have that done and connect it all together, I'm going to invert this again so we just have the cutout like this. I'm going to bring this out over here. I'm going to use a mat control to mask it out. So I'm going to click our media in, type in shift space, and then mat control, add that there. And then I'm going to take our polygon, I'll go to our mat control, hold down alt, and then this menu is going to pop up. I'm going to hit garbage mat and then view our mat control. And it should be looking like this. If it doesn't look like that, go to the mat control settings, go down to garbage mat, hit invert on your check mark box. And then that should give you that look just like this. And now we're going to do duplicate miss mask. So we're going to control C and then control shift V that's going to be an instance node which is an exact copy of this node and that's connected to this node as well so whatever we change here it's going to change there as well but now we're going to de-instance a setting so we're going to go over to border width right click it go down and de-instance that so now that control is independent from that node over there and then we're going to add some more nodes so after our map control let's add a merge node we can click by that right there and then we can add a background node so go and grab this background node put this over here connect the instance polygon to the background node and the background node to the merge one as view our merge one one, you can see we just have this color filled up with our mask and then we're gonna hit control t on our merge and that'll have it in the background and then go to our instance polygon bring up the border width so we see our border over here and we want to make sure that it's on milter usually it's on round before we just change that to milter and that will give it this sharp look you can go to background and then change the color to white to have something like that and just adjust the border width to how fat we want it all right now we're going to do the rough and edges so i want to add a displacement so shift space displace add this to our line over here let's view the displace we're going to add two more nodes we're going to grab a fast noise so shift space we can type in fn that gives us our fast noise and then we're going to add just space a create bump map node just like that bring that over here and then connect that to the input of the displays over here. Now let's view our fast noise. I want to change our scale value to 170. That just seems like the value that works best for this effect. I don't know why. Then we're going to go up to contrast and bring this all the way up to five and our detail is going to be up to 10 as well. Then we're going to go to the create bump map node and then I'm going to put my filter size to five. I'm going to clamp the normal Z all the way up and then I turn this height scale all the way up as well. Then we're going to just go to our displays and you can see our displays happening over here. And then I'm actually going to put it on X and Y. So change the type to X and Y, put our X off all the way down put our y offset all the way down and then on our first frame on a keyframe the x refraction then i'm gonna go down to y refraction right click it go up to connect to displays and x refraction so now these two controls are connected and then now we could control our displays just like this and now i'm just going to displace it a little bit like that and right now you know it doesn't look like a rough and edges that we want it just looks way too cut out so i'm going to fix that by upping the spread just a little bit like that and just around one or just below one we're going to bring that to a rough and edges that looks good for us and now that looks good except now the clip itself actually has this rough and effect that we don't want the clip to have so what we need to do is we're going to add in our road dilate node so shift space a road dilate put this over here we're going to connect our merge one to the road dilate and then connect this road dilate to the blue input of the displace just like that and then we can look over here and then increase the border width or decrease it actually to get rid of that rough and edges but we want it on the edges and not on the middle so we go to our displace go to settings and then apply mask inverted right there and then now we have our effect up the way we want it and then now we can just add our background real quick so i'm just going to add a merge node bring that here connect our media in to that merge node and then connect this part to our merge node over here this is the merge node too and then our we know the background is on our yellow input let me just add a pipe node by holding down alt and clicking the line it gives us a little pipe node so we can redirect our line so we can see it better just like that let's add another one and then now i'm going to add a brightness contrast so type in shift space brightness contrast right there add this to this graph and i'm just going to desaturate it so saturation all the way down and i'm also going to put the gain a little bit down so it's a little bit darker and then i also added a node from reactor called defocus gamma so shift space defocus gamma like that and then let's go to lens type put it to the pentagon we can up it just like this and then also put up our image gamma and I like to put it to around 10 ish and so it gives us that nice bokeh and then our nice blur effect like that and we can control it however we want but then that is how we have this effect over here and that's how you do your roughen edges if you want to change the amount of roughen that you have just go over the fast noise and then change the scale like that and it'll change your rough and edges effect and then you can also go down to the displays and change your spread value just so you want it how powerful you want the 
rough edges to look and that just does the job right there and if it's affecting too much of your clip just go over to the erode dilate and then bring it up a little bit so it doesn't affect the actual edges or just the range that you want it so now you can see we had it down here before it's affecting this whole area now if we bring this back up it's only affecting the area just outside of this white line over here all right so that is our effect done if you're interested in other effects like this distort warp which kind of uses the same method as this one click this video right here otherwise subscribe and have a good day